Hello, friends. As we center on Jesus, let's uh, just do kind of just that. Uh, sitting with a couple of you yesterday, asking questions about uh, who we are and what we're doing as uh, praxis. And uh, one of you said, it's pretty clear. It's just follow Jesus. Right? There's, there's only one invitation Jesus ever gave us. Uh, it's true for his first trainees. It's true for us. Uh, walks up on a couple of them who are at work fishing, and he says, uh, come follow me, right? Uh, make me your king, like center on me. Make me your master, and I will train you to be like me and do what I do, to be fishers of men. Uh, but later, uh, here's Luke 9, the question comes up. He raises it. Who who do you say that I am? And they go, well, you're, you're the king that God's sending to set things right. And he's like... Uh, yeah, and I, I'm gonna go off to Jerusalem, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be rejected. I'm gonna suffer. I'm gonna be executed, and then I'm gonna live again and be raised on the third day, right? And then he says it again. He said, "Whoever wants to come after me, whoever wants to come after me, let them deny themselves, deny their selfish ambition, right? Deny their self." Uh, take up their cross, make their allegiance to me public, uh, and follow me. This is why we're here. So we, everything we do is just the pursuit of Jesus, that, that we want to enjoy God together for the good of the world, because that's the life he lived, right? He lives in the overlap of those things. And so uh, today, let's make it our primary pursuit to follow him. King Jesus, you are exactly that. You are our king. We invite you today to train us, to keep training us, keep shaping us, forming us uh, as we follow you, shaping us into the people, the kind of people who uh, live the way you live, do the things you do as if you were, as if we were you, if you were in our shoes, in our positions, that we would live the way you would live. And thank you for your spirit. Amen. Grace and peace, friends.